not being recorded. <laughs> and there it is on your screen. Yo, all right. Happy Tuesday. Not as nice as it was yesterday out. <laughs> Back to hot and humid. Uh, so here's got, what we got for today. Strength wise, uh, we've got hang power clean today. So it's every two minutes for five sets. Uh, if you have barbell and weights, feel free to do that. Otherwise, we've got dumbbells. Ideally, this is done with two dumbbells. Um, and again, if you have options, we're gonna hopefully try and build and work to something a little heavier over this, right? If you only got one weight, that's fine. Um, stay with that. If you only got one, then we're gonna do single arm, it'd be five on each side, right? Um, so you have a two minute window to do that, and we'll go through five sets, right? The conditioning hanger snake. So it's 21, 15, 9. Again, anytime you see that rep scheme, think kind of lighter, faster, uh, shorter time frame. So we got burpee box jumps and hang power cleans, right? If you're doing barbell and you are going pretty heavy on the strength part, uh, stipulation on the hang power clean for the conditioning is no more than 70% of what you hit in the strength, okay? So again, air on the kind of lighter side. Think lighter, faster, right? Um, and then we've got the accessory, which is 62 breath glute bridges. I would say about two second pause at the top and work through those. You can do them weighted if you'd like. Um, break them up however you want. And you're working through your 60. All right. So let's go over the movements for today. All right, again, we've got hang power cleans. So um, for the strength, we're doing the five, hanging on to the five for all, or hanging on for all five reps, right? So just make sure we deadlift up first, and then we'll set up in our hang position, right? Again, if you're trying to go a little bit heavier, we should probably go in from that low hang, just above the knees, jumping up to the shoulders, all right? For the workout, depending on the weight, you can kind of go from a high hang. Again, if you are breaking up the sets, make sure you deadlift up first um, before we start setting up into those hang power cleans, right? Uh, if we're doing dumbbells, same thing, right? Deadlift them up, a little bit of a dip, sit those hips back, jump the dumbbells up to the shoulders, right? Uh, for the strength, we are planning on trying to go heavy if you can or have that option. So make sure again, we're practicing dropping under and not just standing and kind of reverse curling that bar up, okay? You wanna jump, drop under, get those elbows up, okay? Some subs we have for today. Um, we have kettlebells, we can do swings, do some kettlebell swings, we can do deadlifts. That's another option if you didn't do deadlifts yesterday. <laughs> and we can do glute bridges right from the ground. Um, for the workout, we've got burpee box jumps also. So for these, you know, face our box, provided you have the space. All right, so we drop down, do our burpee, hop or step up, two foot jump. These are box jumps. So Open the hips, stand up tall on the box, work your way through, okay? Um, so subs today, we could do burpee and then instead of jump, you could step up, right? You could do your squat thrust instead of the burpee, go so squat thrust and jump or step. Um, some other options, we can do inchworms with step ups. So if we can't do that kind of high impact stuff, you can do an inchworm. To walk yourself out, <laughs> do a push up, and then you're gonna add a one step up on each leg. Takes more space, but <laughs> and then just kind of work your way through those reps, right? And then uh, again, glute bridges for the accessory down on the ground, drop through your heels, about two second hold at the top, and then come back down. Feel free to weight that if you'd like. Uh, come on. There we go. All right. So warm up. We're gonna start with some inchworms. Okay. Again, when we do these, legs as straight as you can. So if you're a little bit tighter in the hamstrings, just widen that stance a little bit. Okay. Once you walk yourself out to a plank, we're gonna do a little crisscross mountain climber. So knee up to the opposite elbow, one on each side, and then again, legs straight as you can. Then walk those hands back. 
can do five of those. And once you've done five, you can have a seat on the ground. So next, we're going to go with a single leg glute bridge. And plant that foot, one leg out in front, and drive up through our heel, squeeze the glute, come back down, and we're going to alternate each rep. Right, so we're working up to 20 reps, alternating, so we end up being 10 on each side. The single leg glute bridge is tough with that leg out in front. If you start to elevate that a little more vertical, a little bit easier. Once you've done your glute bridges, you can stay sitting on the ground. We're going to be doing a hollow hold next. All right, so remember with that hollow, right? Shoulders crunched up, low back pushed into the ground. We're going to have those legs extended. If you can, squeeze the glutes, flex the quads. That starts to get hard. You can tuck those knees in. We're going to be holding for 30 seconds, right? So going three, two, one, and up. Push that low back into the ground. Hold that crunch. Five more seconds, guys. Keep holding. And rest, nice. From there, we can do a little forearm stretch. So you can kind of sit on your knees. We're gonna plant your hands down on the ground. Try and have your fingers um, back towards you as much as you can. You're gonna press your palms into the ground and then start to sit back. All right, so you're gonna hold this for about 30 seconds. You can rock side to side, get some extra motion in there. You can start, guys. Again, as you go through this, keep trying to sit back and push those palms down into the ground. We do a little circles, back and forth, up to you. But just trying to loosen up, stretch out the forearms a little bit. Five more seconds. And rest, nice. From there, we're gonna go with some squat thrusts. So, from standing, right, dropping down to a plank. And standing, we're gonna do 15 of those. 15 squat thrusts.
Guys, once you've done your 15, if you got a box, we're gonna go 10 step ups. Remember, we're standing up nice and tall each time, alternating legs, so it'll be five on each side. If you don't have anything to step up on, we can do a forward lunge, so that's a big step. Keep that chest up as you go into that lunge. Once you've done your step ups, if you got a bar, we're going to grab that bar. If you got dumbbells, you can grab your dumbbells and do some deadlifts. So, with the bar, grip just outside the hips. We're going to set up in that mid shin. These are going to be halting deadlifts. So, shoulders back, belly tight on the way up. We're going to pause at the knees, right? Again, keep your lats engaged. Push that bar into you. Shins are vertical. We're going to hang out at that kind of knee position for two seconds and stand up nice and tall. Okay, no pause on the way down. So up to the knees, two second hold, squeeze your glutes, lock your quads. All right, if you're doing that with dumbbells, okay, kind of let it tap. Once you're about knee height with the hands, again, two second pause, stand up nice and tall. All right, so 10 halting deadlifts. On that 10th one, once you stand it all the way up, we're gonna go 10 hang power cleans. Right, so jumping that weight, again, you could go high hang, that vertical dip, or low hang at the knees, and jumping up to the shoulders. So 10 halting deadlifts, and then 10 hang power cleans. And once you've done your 10 hang power cleans, last movement for our warm up, five burp box jumps. Nice. Once you've done your five, those of you guys with bars, if you want to start kind of warming up, see where you want to start. Get some uh, hang power cleans in there. You guys got dumbbells, and just make sure we're kind of warmed up for that. We'll start in a couple of minutes. Hey, Alan. Good morning. Hey, hello. What should I do with um, kettlebells for the uh, power cleans instead? Um, you got two kettlebells there? Yeah, two different weights. Two different weights. Yeah. Do you yesterday's workout? No. Okay, you could do um, deadlifts. Okay. You could you could hold the two and then maybe just alternate rounds that are not like one heavy. Yeah, one heavy on both sides. Um, for the workout, you could do swings. Okay. Workout and then. Um, are you okay doing burpees or you want something else for that? I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. So swings and burpees will be pretty brutal, quick and dirty. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Yeah. So for the strength to Dallas, if you want to up the reps a little bit, you can up the reps. If it feels like a, you know, instead of just five. Um, and then yeah, swings and burpees for the workout. Great. Thank you. Yeah. How's everyone else doing? Nice. Some people got bars, weights at home, excellent. Alan? 
Yes, yeah, okay. Eighty. Um, so for the hang power cleans, I'll do the two dumbbells. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you got two dumbbells, you can do them too. Okay. Jump to your shoulders. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone looks about ready. Frank, you're doing single arm, right? Yeah, so it'll be five on each side. Cool. All right, so every two minutes, we'll be hitting your five reps. And don't feel like you have to start right when it beeps. I'll count them down, but you have that whole two minute window. All right. First set, coming up in 10. Two minutes to do five reps. Three, two, one. Remember, deadlift up first. It's all in the hips. Big jump, drop under. Should be nice and fast with those elbows. Nice. Good, Katie. Try and sit your hips back a little more when you catch. So, Dottie, when you're catching, we're real vertical or even getting a little under. Think a little more squat so you want those hips back when you catch. Nice, Lewis. Try and really sit those hips back. So with the deadlift, you know, it's awkward with the kettlebell. If you need, you can go a little wider, kind of have them between. And then instead of straight up and down, you still want that hinge, right? So sit those hips back. Yep. And kind of let the kettlebell sit right between the feet. Dang, Chris. Those things look huge. <laughs> They're only 35s. <laughs> they're the kind that are full of sand so they like they've been like yeah they're like 35 each plate <laughs> yeah pumping iron during quarantine Ugh. we are about 15 seconds out I'm going to on set two in 10 seconds. All right, three, two, one. Nice, Vicky. Keep those elbows in a little bit. Don't get too wide with the elbows. Nice, Frank. Diana, good elbow speed. Thanks, Sarah. And if you have options, you're feeling good, feel free to kind of increase as we get through these five sets. Nice, Lewis. Like, oh, we lost Natalie. <laughs> she was here. 30 seconds.
All right, 10 seconds, this is third set. And three, two, one. Remember you all ready? Ready, kids, set up. Hi, right, Sarah. What's up, Katie? Thanks, Lewis. What's up, Chris? There you go, Vicky. Nice. Nice, Frank. Nice work, Chris. What's up, Frank? Awesome, guys. Two more sets. All right, we got four set coming up in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. I'm gonna keep those shoulders back, belly tight, especially as you load up. Nice, Vicky. Good, Sarah. Way to get under it. You got Daddy. Come on, hips back. Good. Don't oh, squat cleans, Katie. Nice. <laughs> Good, Lewis. Don't lean too far back. Just think squeeze your glutes. Stand tall. There you go. Nice, Tiana. Yeah, guys. We got one more set after this. Yep. One more. Thirty seconds, guys. Last set of hang power cleans. Ten seconds. Last set of five. Three, two. One, and you got the whole two minutes. Nice, Diana. Ed Lewis. Nice, Chris. Remember, keep those arms straight all the way until you feel that jump. Don't try and pull it up. That's awkward with the dumbbells. There you go. The more you can just use your hips to jump it up, the better. Nice. Nice, Frank. Up, Daddy. <clears throat> nice guys. 
So Sarah and Giannis, you guys are using bars. Um, rough guideline I was telling the class this morning, think of, you know, you're doing 21 burpee box jumps first, then you're gonna be getting to the hang power cleans. That first set, you wanna think somewhere like eight to 10 reps. So rough guideline. And air on the lighter, faster side. Lewis, if you're feeling good, depending on your kettlebell weight, you can kind of see how you feel after the burpees. Um, you could probably double the kettlebell swings. So see how you feel. You don't get to 21 if it's feeling good. Double it, go to 42, and then it'd be 30, and then 18. Alan. Frank, are you saying single arm for the uh, hand power cleans in the workout too? I just have one, though. I mean, what would I do, 21 on each arm? Uh, is it the same weight that you just did? Yeah, same weight. Okay. Um, are you doing burpee box jumps, too, or just burpees? I am. Burpee box. Burpee box chair, jump. chair step up. <laughs> yeah. How's that weight for you? Is it, like, on the heavier side or not so bad? It's on the lighter side. Okay, so yeah, if it's on the lighter do, side, I would try and do, yeah, try and do 21 on each side. And okay, just alternate right. however you want, yeah. Should be on the quicker side. Dottie, you had a question? Sorry. Oh, thank you. Um, on the um, hang power clean, am I going full squat depth? No. It's, it's not a full just, squat Yeah, it's just more of a, oh, yeah. more, okay. Just a little dip, just enough to get it to your shoulders. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm a cute kid, Lewis. <laughs> you could use, use your child, use your kid for your swings. <laughs> fun, fun for everyone. All right, everyone looks ready to rock. So 21 burpee box jumps or burpee step ups, however you want to adjust for that. Um, then 21 hang power cleans, 15, 15, and then nine and nine. Um, just remember again, coming off of the hang power cleans, right? Big hip driven movement going back into the burpee box jumps. Um, especially if you're jumping, just make sure again, it's a lot of hips. So, you know, jump extra high, love your shins. Don't, don't hurt them. <laughs> All right. And it looks good. So starting with the burpees, 21 burpee box jumps, and you got your hang power cleans. We are. Going in 10. 20, 15, 9. 15, short, fast. Two, one, you. Keep breathing, keep moving. Find the pace you can keep going at. Nice, guys. Nice deep breath each rep. Good job, Katie. Katie, you don't have to do the hands overhead for these. Just burpee step up. Yep. Doing bonus. <laughs> nice down. Good job, Sarah. There you go, Vicky. Thanks, nice, Lewis. Good, Chris. There you go, Frank. Awesome work, guys. Keep breathing, chip away. Work through that 21. Nice, Lewis. Here you go, Frank. Awesome. Good 
Great work, guys. Keep breathing. Stay on it. Get to those hang tire cleans. Nice, Chris. There you go. Good. Good job. Keep those arms nice and long. Nice, Sarah. Try and hang on that bar. Good job, Diana. There you go, Dottie. 21 hang power cleans. Yeah, you don't have to go that low, Katie. Just right to the shoulders. Stand it up. Yeah, there you go. A little more butt back. Good. Awesome. Nice, Sarah. Awesome work, guys. Remember, once we're done, those hang power cleans are right into those burpees again. Going down, 15 reps. And breathing heavy, just try and keep yourself moving. One rep at a time, keep it going. There you go, Sarah. Nice, Sianna. Good job, Vicky. There you go, Dottie. Good, hips back, hips back, butt back on that catch. There you go. Nice, Diana. Breathe each rep. Try to hang on that bar. It's been set, set. Good job, Chris. Thanks, Lewis. Nice, Frank. Good pace. Nice, Lewis. There you go, Sarah. Nice, Vicky. Come on, guys. Get through those 15. Good job, Frank. Great job, Dottie. Nice, Sarah. Great job hanging on that bar. Nice, Diana. Let's go, Vicky. Get those hang power queens. There you go, right down, Sarah. Come on, let's get those nine. Good, Chris. Good job, Diana. There you go, Frank. Keep pushing, keep pushing, guys. Come on. 21-15-9. It's quick and dirty. Got to keep pushing through. Nice, Lois. There you go, Dottie. Great job. You got this. Come on. Hang on those dumbbells. That's where Chris. Go, Vicky. There you go, Sarah. Nice, Frank. 
Come on, guys, hang on to it. Fight for it. Good job, Lewis. Nice, Tiana. Good job, Vicky. Great work, Dottie. Way to keep those dumbbells up. Nice, Sarah. It's been a while since we did those short burns, huh? <laughs> nice, Frank. What's up, Lewis? There you go, Chris. Let's get it. Jump and drop. Nice, Diana. Good job, Vicky. Finish it out. Nice, Dottie. Nice, Frank. There you go, Chris. Deep breath, big jump. Nice. Yeah, Deanna, sit under it. There you go. Good elbow speed. Nice. What's up, Vicky? Nice, Katie. Keep moving, keep moving. You're almost there. Nice job, Deanna. Right down into that burpee. Come on. You got it. Nine more. Nice. Good jumps. There you go, Dottie. Hang on. Nine more. Let's finish them out. Great job, Deanna. Way to keep moving. Get a mosquito, got it. <laughs> there you go, Diana. Come on, big jump. Nice job, Katie. There you go. Way to get back down. Nice. Awesome, Diana. Big breath. Let's get that bar up. Nine more. You can do this. Good. Sit under it. Nice. Five four, five four, come on. Good. One more. There we go. One more. Nice. Great job. Nice work, guys. It's been a while since we've done uh twenty one fifteen nine. Yeah. <laughs> awesome work. We keep moving. Thanks, the <laughs> Bye, Chris. So, again, accessory. Uh, we've got 60 glute bridges, two breaths. So about two second hole in the top. You can do them weighted. You can do them unweighted. Break them up however you want. And that's the accessory for today. Thanks, awesome Alan. And you're welcome. Thank you, Alan. Thanks, Alan. You're welcome. Nice job, guys. Good to see you, buddy. Awesome work.